Now to the fallout from Ferguson. Michael Brown's stepfather is under investigation this morning for his actions in the hours after that grand jury decision. Police are trying to determine if he was attempting to incite a riot with this outburst. ABC's Alex Perez joins us now with the latest on all this. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Robin. At this point, authorities have not charged Michael Brown's stepfather. Now, we've also learned federal authorities have arrested a man accused of making death threats against Aaron Wilson. This morning, 46-year-old Jaleel Tariq Abdul-Jabbar is due in federal court, accused of making repeated threats online to kill Darren Wilson, the former Ferguson police officer who shot and killed unarmed 18-year-old Michael Brown. Abdul-Jabbar from Washington State ranting about Wilson on his Facebook page, even posting this wanted image. Outrage over Brown's death further compounded last week by that grand jury decision not to indict Wilson in the August 9th shooting. Following the news, Brown's mother, inconsolable. But it was this heated response from Mike Brown's stepfather that's making headlines yet again this morning. Those words from Lewis Head during an emotional moment after just hearing Wilson would not be charged. Now, St. Louis County Police are looking into whether Head should be charged for inciting a riot. Possibly making an already volatile situation even worse. Fires raged until morning. Businesses looted and destroyed. The, the Missouri Lieutenant Governor calling for Head's arrest. Attorneys for the Brown family were quick to denounce his words, but ask for understanding. Don't condemn them for being human. And in New York City today, authorities are bracing for possible Ferguson-like unrest, a grand jury decision in, uh, with, against the officer in the chokehold death of Eric Garner is expected as early as today.